This is a bit of a different video. It's off scripted. It probably won't be very funny. It's not monetized. It's just something I thought I'd come and talk about for a bit on this channel since I made this channel to talk about things that I'm interested in and that I care about. There have been some things that have happened in the UK and in the UK media that has made me feel incredibly disgusted and upset over the past few days. For those of you who don't know, Meghan Markle, who is married to Prince Harry, came out in an Oprah interview and said that she had suicidal thoughts and that she had asked for some help and the royal family refused to give her this help. And then on Good Morning Britain, Piers Morgan, a journalist that a lot of the UK are familiar with, basically said that he didn't believe her, which had a knock-on effect, as it would. Because if you say someone you don't believe that someone is suicidal, you're further stigmatising the mental health and different things that people deal with. People already have to worry with these things. They don't and shouldn't have to worry about wanting to be believed or coming across as fake or like they're lying about their own personal experiences. Now this happened around International Women's Day as well, which makes it even worse because a lot of the hate that Meghan Markle gets is race-based and it is sex-based and some of the sexist comments that you see are disgusting. And sexism is something that has come out again today. It was reported, I think, last night as I'm recording this on the news, that a woman called Sarah was found um, murdered after walking alone at night and a police officer has been arrested under the suspicion of her murder. And with this, a lot of stories have been circulating about women not feeling safe, which is something that we don't feel safe. We don't feel safe at night. We don't feel safe in the company of guys a lot of the time, unless we really, really know them. Um, we experience a lot and it is often underplayed, really underplayed. People were suggesting that women shouldn't go out past a certain time, that women should get a taxi, that women should do this and women should do that, that women shouldn't dress this way and women shouldn't go to these places on their own. But why isn't there a focus on the people that are doing the bad things? We shouldn't have to avoid the bad things happening. People should just not do them. Obviously on Twitter, this resulted in a lot of women coming forward with their stories. I came forward with some experiences I've had. Probably most women in your life have experienced some form of harassment, whether it be being touched inappropriately in school by a classmate, touched on a night out, had a drink spilt over them and a comment made about their chest, um, advances being shut down so men decide to make fun of you or make disgusting comments, catcalling, and sometimes it goes worse and it becomes a legal matter. And I've had friends who have been assaulted and have been traumatised. So people are angry and people are sharing their stories and a hashtag not all men <sighs> trends. Now, I've always done this thing on Twitter, I generalise a lot, but I always say if the tweet doesn't apply to your behaviour, don't get offended by the tweet because odds are they're not talking about you. But this is the thing I see all the time. I uploaded a video on this channel, it was my first video, and it was about why people call men trash and why people say all men are trash. And I don't believe in using that generalisation because I don't think you should judge a whole gender on the actions of some. However, at the same time, why do people feel the need to prove that it's not all men instead of realising that it must be enough for there to be this backlash? I saw a video on Twitter and it used these techniques. If we want to use not all men, maybe we should say not all men are learning about rape culture. Not all men know enough about consent. Not all men realise how inappropriate and disrespectful their behaviour can be towards women. Not all men realise what actually classifies as harassment, what classifies as sexual assault. Talking about someone's body, bringing attention to their body parts without context, or unwantingly, making unwanted advances, touching someone without their permission, those are all quite harassive and inappropriate 
and they overstep a boundary. However, when we talk about things like sexual assault and harassment and rape, we usually think of the worst things possible, when sometimes these situations are not portrayed as the worst things possible, which causes a lot of women, myself included, to underplay things that actually have happened. Because the behaviour is normalised. We are taught not to go out in the dark on our own, not to dress in a certain way, but even when we do all of those things, we are still subject to some kind of harassment and it doesn't always traumatise because it's normalised. Um, me being catcalled or having a car pulled up next to me asking me to get in or asking for my number or being groped when I was working behind a bar at 16 or having people ask for my number and then get annoyed when I don't and then them following me home. Things like that have just been normalised. But just because I'm not sat here traumatised, it doesn't make it okay. I said on Twitter, if I got punched in the face and it didn't hurt, it still doesn't make it okay that that person punched me in the face. I do genuinely want to believe that a lot of the men that do the casual harassment, the microaggression towards women, the microsexism, the banter, don't realise. I want to believe that they are ignorant and they're not well educated. And there is a responsibility on parents and teachers and peers to do this education as well but it's causing trauma and it's causing women to be scared it's causing some men to be scared as well I don't think it's exclusively about women but it's too many women that are scared and that is the issue we can sit there and talk about how men are also assaulted and how men are also targets of sexual abuse, usually by other men in statistics, but the vast amount of statistics are women. And people don't want to believe, people want to disprove, especially on the internet, sexual allegations want to be disproven a lot of the time. Um, and people say that they're not taken seriously or they are taken seriously. But when people are just sharing their story and they're not doing it to be like, I want to ruin this person, they just want to raise awareness, I don't think it's right to even try to, to discredit a potential victim but there is not enough education and there is not enough being done and i hate that it's taken a murder for anyone to say anything including myself because to me again it's normalized we just know not to do these things we just know not to go out at a certain time we just know to be careful where i live um in wales it's not that dangerous to walk home or around at night but I still am scared, even though I've lived here all my life and I probably would know most of the people that I bump into. But that possibility is always there. I read something that said, we know that it's not all men, but we don't know which men it is. Therefore, we have to be suspicious of all. And that is true. When you go on a date, you have to make sure all your friends know about it. When you're going out, you have to make sure everybody knows that you're going out. When I'm at university in the city, I don't like going across the road to Tesco on my own across the road, two minutes away from my house. Because of this, because of stuff like this, because of the chance that something could happen, because I am at more risk, because I'm a woman, which just sounds stupid, and I don't think it should be a thing, and I hate that I have to say that. There are things that are wrong, and there are things that, by dictionary definition, are classified as assault and harassment that people don't even realise and it needs to be called out. If you're a guy or if you're a girl, more so if you're a guy and you see your mate doing something inappropriate, pull him aside and tell him because it would stop him doing it with the next person. There is this pressure on women sometimes to come out with their stories against people so that they don't get away with it the next time. I've said the line before, even if they don't believe you, if it happens again, this person will get caught that suspicion is now there. But it shouldn't be that way. It just shouldn't have happened anyway. And something that a lot of people say is that's just the way the world works, but it shouldn't be. In the next few days on social media, if it doesn't die down, you might see women talking about their experiences. Don't shut them down. Don't say that they're sympathy begging or that they're doing it for attention or that it's not true because you don't know. And it is very real for some people, and it's very common, and false allegations are so slim, it's just problematic that the internet has had a lot of false allegations on it, especially in the YouTube sphere. 
it does discredit. But people are talking and people are trying to make people aware of this stuff and don't discredit them for doing that. Just don't weaponize stuff that's happened in the past when people are just trying to use their platform to get people talking and to get people to realize that it is a problem. We shouldn't have to live, like this shouldn't have to be a consideration that we have to have when we walk down the street or when we go somewhere on our own. I shouldn't have to be reminded of how weak and fragile I am because I like to think I can protect myself. But if that's the case, why do I have to ring my boyfriend? Why do I have to have my keys between my knuckles? Why do I purposefully sit on the end seat on the bus so no one sits next to me? Why do I always make sure I'm in view of a driver? Why do I always sit in the back of an Uber? Why do I wear headphones, but I don't actually turn the music on? just in case something happens. But I wear headphones, so if I get catcalled, I can ignore it, and they won't know that I'm purposefully ignoring them. They'll just think I can't hear them because I have earbuds in. Why do I have to do these things? Why are people saying that this woman was murdered, that was murdered, should have gotten a taxi? Why is that the method of prevention? So yeah, not all men. Not all men are aware of what behaviour is unacceptable. Sometimes through no fault of their own. But too many women have had too many experiences with predominantly men. For it to be something that can just be brushed under the carpet as an anomaly. I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Um, and it's a horrible time at the moment, as always. It just seems to be getting worse and worse. I'm hoping that the tides are turning. And I know that like, there will be people in the comments that troll it or like say, mm, feminist, mm, mm, mm. like, there's no point arguing people like that, but yeah, that's, that's everything. And with that, I'll see you soon.